Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this stairs illusion. So we're going to start off by, of course, blocking our brows, just taking a glue stick and then setting that. Then I'm just grabbing an eyebrow pencil and I'm just sketching out the really rough shapes. This part takes time. There's going to be a lot of rubbing out and redrawing and rubbing out and redrawing. That's the whole reason why we do this step. So when you're moving onto the neck and chest, you really need to consider that when you look at different angles, the shapes are going to change dramatically. So what you want to do is try and match the stairs as close as possible only when you're looking at the camera. You also want to make sure that you're looking at the exact same angle when you're working, just because if you're putting so much time and effort in like one angle and then you look at the camera and then it completely deforms, you've just wasted all that time. So you want to make sure that when you're working, you want to keep moving back to the exact exact same angle. It doesn't look like it on the final photo but underneath my chin or like at the very top of my neck it's not even painted but you can't even see that so like don't bother wasting your time on parts you can't even see. Moving on to the exciting part. So we're going to fill the stairs in white. I'm using the Cryolant Supercolor in white and Supercolors are basically cream paints for those of you who may not know. As you can see, I'm leaving gaps in between the steps. This just makes the future steps easier. Haha, <laughs> steps. Anyway, moving on to the inside of the coffin. This time I am using water-based, so I'm using the Meron Paradise paints for this. And then now I'm just painting the basic shapes, like no details just yet, just getting the colours down. So again, I'm using water-based for the coffin. And I'm going to leave the exact colours I used in the description box below because I always forget to show them to the camera. The top tip for this look in particular is take selfies on your phone with your eyes closed. This is going to really help you line up the shapes correctly when your eyes are closed because when they're open the shape completely changes and this is what I definitely struggled with the most trying to get the coffin straight. It was a nightmare. This is what my phone ended up looking like by the end of the look and of course you want to do the same technique technique with the stairs as well. And then moving on to one of my favourite things to do is shading. So you want to grab some blacks and greys and different shades and some teeny tiny eyeshadow brushes and you want to, it's quite difficult to explain this, it's just, just, just watch what I'm doing and no, yeah, there you go. I can tutorial. This is what's going to create the 3D illusion. This step is extremely important and you want to use small brushes and also some more larger brushes for light greys as well. I'm shading the inside of the coffin as well to create the illusion that it is behind. And then for the hole in the chest, as you can see, I am painting it black, but then I did change it to red to make it look a little bit more fleshy and weird. So just pretend I'm painting red. And then for the bottom of the stairs, you want to create a lot more shadow because obviously this is going to create the illusion that it is going in the deep, dark depths of your soul. Jesus. Taking a small brush, I'm just creating some cracks and dots in the steps as well, just to give it a bit more of a surrealistic look. Surrealistic? Is that a word? I just googled it and yes it is. And then I'm just adding these curly, wiggly, wobbly details. I don't even know what they are, but they just looked cool. And then moving back onto the hole, now I'm painting red. And then this is where you want to put a lot of shadow as well, because again, the deep dark depths of your soul and then add some pretty little twinkly stars in the coffin. Yeah, I kind of had a mind change with the moon and put some yellow eyeshadow on it just to give it a bit more of a glowy look and separate it from the stairs because I just felt like there was too much white going on, so yeah. Moving on to the brows, or should I say lack of brows? Taking some concealer, you want to say bye bye brows. And I'm also taking this flat head brush just to go nicely along the edges of the coffin. This is going to really define and make the coffin pop, I guess. Next, I couldn't find my blender anywhere, so I had to resort to a brush. I'm just applying some foundation to the rest of my face. Don't forget to put it down onto your neck. By the way, can you see that? This is what I was talking about. It just looks like a complete mess under your chin, but you can't see that, you see? And then these are just the final finishing anal touch-ups, but you just want to grab some contour and then just go ahead and contour like you would on a regular day. 
Then I'm just taking some, I think it's called flock, like fake bushes and shit. And then some latex and then you just want to stick it on here and there. Make it look a little bit more mossy in nature and just kind of weird. And I'm also adding some like brownie ones as well. So it looks like the bushes are kind of going dead. And that is it. Oh, by the way, I forgot to add shadow underneath the stairs, which is really annoying. But yeah, if you create this look, please do that because this is what's going to make the stairs look a lot more 3D as well. And that's it. That's how you do it. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. I really hoped you enjoyed this and you found it helpful. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. I hate saying this stuff. You know what to do. It's all there. Just go ahead, you know, support a girl. And yeah, see you next time. Bye, guys.